I'm going to begin by getting your reflections on what was a big occasion for the club on Tuesday night. Yeah, it was obviously a great game, uh, great night for the club. Like you see, I think almost a thousand Torquay fans going to Derby on a Tuesday night is a it's great showing from the Yellow Army as it has been throughout the whole season. I think the scoreline probably flattered them a little bit. I thought, especially first half, we was more than a match, um, and we could have maybe been a lot closer than the scoreline suggested. Um, but I think, in the end, the clinical nature of their side and the better quality showed, especially in the second half, and managed to kill us off a little bit and didn't give us a chance to get a. Three goals back in the second half, but um, yeah, it was obviously a great occasion, and um, yeah, I think we've done ourselves proud, and hopefully done the club proud. Before we start looking ahead to the weekend, it's probably just show you to emphasise how good a result it was in, in the first game, because it's obviously taking you to a replay, you've obviously come very close to actually beating that same side. Yeah, I think ultimately that was probably a great opportunity for us. You know, second half to if we'd have got that second one a bit earlier, we could have really, really put them under pressure. Because I think second half we. You know, they didn't really get out of their half, which I know they're down to 10 men, but um, it gave us, you know, it would have given us a great opportunity to go and beat them in the home league, and that was really probably our best chance of beating them. But ultimately, this, they, they defended well um, and made us wait to the 95th minute to get that goal. But I felt like the goal was always going to come. It was just been a nice, it was 10 minutes earlier, and we could have really, really put them under pressure for another 10 minutes. And I think, at the end of the game, I think their gaffer said that we at least deserved to draw out that game. So I think it showed that. The performance we put in, we, we don't really deserve what we got. It wasn't just a fluke. Um, yeah, it's just a shame we couldn't get it a little bit earlier and put them under pressure to try and get the win at home. Now, obviously, on Saturday, we're back at National League <coughs> level against Barnet. And although they're probably not going to be a, quite the same calibre as what we've just played against, it's a Barnet side that are doing very well and deservedly getting a place in the, in the playoff zone at the moment. Yeah, they're the good side. There's no, you know, we're not taking a foot off the gas, thinking, oh, we've took Derby close at home and you know we've put in a good performance away at Derby we can't think it rests on our laurels and go to Barnet thinking we're going to turn up and beat them comfortably it's not that case um, they're a good side always have been really um, difficult place to go always is um, they've got some good players and they've been involved in some crazy score lines this season like we have so game could be anything but obviously we want to go there and try and get three points we have seen that the club of the team themselves have been very competitive in, in, in recent weeks and, and have been getting on the score sheet a lot more than they were earlier on in the season. And you seem to have played a, a key part. Like you're loving getting forward in that new role, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. I think ultimately I've got the legs to get around the pitch, so why not use them to get up and down rather than constantly defending? So. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, the opportunity I'm getting at the moment with the Gaffer and Downsy and giving a bit of a license to get forward and, as like I say, get a couple of goals, get a few assists lately. So it's been nice and hopefully I can get a few more on the weekend. And with the United fans, the Yellow Army travelling up and down the country and following the team wherever they go, it would be fantastic to reward them with three points on Saturday. Oh, definitely. I think even early on in the season when performances weren't great and results weren't great and wherever we went, it felt like... There were still a few hundred going everywhere we went. I mean, I think the York one stood out for me, thinking the posi position we was in, the performance we put in on that, them, them performance before. I think there was row strikes, all sorts. It's the end of the world, and over 200 Torquay fans going. You think it makes you realise that <coughs> how well supported this club is and what it means to them. And obviously, like you say, we'd we'd love to reward them with three points on Saturday. <coughs> Finally, Tom, is there still a, a belief within the squad that if you can just get a couple of results and put a few back-to-back -back and get on a run that you can start going up high towards the top end of the table? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, can't start saying that now, the situation we're in, you know, where we'd like to be is obviously nowhere near this. So, ultimately, the short-term goal is to get out of the situation we're in um, and then hopefully in the new year we're further away from where we are and we can then reevaluate and what our aims are for the back end of the season. Um, but yeah, it'd be silly of me to see her and say, oh yeah, we could be playoff chasing by the end of the season because at the moment, it, that would be idiotic to say the situation we're in. It is literally take game by game. Um, we've got some winnable games now between now and Christmas, so um, try and get as many points as we can and then see where we are in the new year.